All right. I'm not sure if I even got a duck down here. Yeah, maybe. How's it going? Um, realized that it's been a while since I've done any kind of fitness exercise video, you know? Well, no, it's not been that long. Feels like a long time, though. I just finished up my workout, and I thought, you know, um, there's there's some slight differences in my workout, and I thought, you know, I ought to just, just bring these out to y'all. Um, I've had some recent interest in, in the the Zombie Fighter Django workout, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, okay? To anybody that's using this, but very especially Brother Mr. Doberman from Doberman Knives. Yeah, steampunk genius. Making some badass blades. Very cool. And Brother D at Dirty Room Knives. All right. Two of the best knife makers in the world are using the ZFJ. And that just rocks. Thank you all. Um, and it's worth it. You won't regret using this workout. I've had some other interests, but you all have actually done the workout. You too. You awesome too. And, and Brother Doberman even made a video there uh, showing, showing a, a little bit of the parts. He was working along with the advanced. And... Um, He's got stronger muscles due to working with, uh, you know, working in the shop, just like Brother Dirty Room there. So I wouldn't recommend you just jumping into the advanced like uh, like he did. And I also want to mention that uh, Brother Doberman used uh, cans of beans as his weights. Think outside the box, all right? Um, I started out with a stick, if y'all remember, and I'll show you this stick in a minute. It started out as a stick workout, and then I made the the empty hand slash hand weights version um, because those variations work better for me. I like that independent movement, but there are certain movements where the stick is nice. Um, these were my first weights. These are just two. These were um, iced tea containers, and I just filled them up with some pea gravel from. There's just a refuse pile. Um, you can make those bigger sports drinks. I think if you look back at one of my videos or a couple of them, I've got those sports drinks. So, we're going to go ahead and just do the beginner's workout. I hope my face is showing up. I mean, I don't even know where I'm at, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just back her on up. Because you know what? My wife's gone right now. But she comes back and I've like overhead busted out the ceiling fan blades and stuff, breaking light fixtures. Whew. It's going to be a bad night for me. So, we're going to start off with the swings, alright? Now, these are real simple. This, this is the movement, this is your foundation, okay? This is loosening up muscles. And this is helping you get your whole body moving together. I want you to feel this, all right? This workout, this is based on science, primal movements, and combatives, pure combatives at its core. This is building fighting movements into your muscle memory. It's also going to strengthen you like you wouldn't believe, and you build up an incredible heat throughout your core if you just work this exercise. Now, we're going to do the beginning, so I'm going to try to keep count. One, two, three. Let this be a smooth movement, okay? And you see how I'm engaging? Engaging my core muscles, and I'm also pulling my, my navel back a little bit. See? I pull that back a little bit, and that creates a balance of tension, and it'll help to build that heat, okay? We want to strengthen the gut sheath. You know, just like you're going to have a, a safe to protect your valuables, a sheath to protect the blade of your knife. You've got a sheath to protect your guts, your spine. And that's what we're doing. I think that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, for those of you who are a little more advanced, I've been 
including in my, my workout, in between each uh, set of movements, I use five pound weights. And between each set of movements, I've been throwing down um, kind of a new kind of push up here. So, I don't know if this will show up, but it's a regular push up and then move into downward facing dog. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now, what I do is I max out. That's been for me. I max out in between each set of reps. You know, I, I don't even know how many it comes out to. So our next movement is the side spear, named for when we had the stick, because you're side spearing with that stick. Now we're doing it this way, and it's still working that hook, okay? It's working those muscles. Two, three, four. Remember, knees slightly bent, always slightly bent. That takes the weight off the bone and puts it on the muscle will build density of bone by the movements. We don't want to destroy our joints. Muscles heal, joints deteriorate. And remember your posture. We're creating a balance of tension here. Do you see? So we don't want to be too much like this or too much rounded out. Try to create a balance of tension. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next is our side swipe, okay? Now this is a, a strike that you see you can get some excellent movement, and that's without even moving my feet. So you can get that guy behind you. Now again, with all these movements, I want you engaging that core. So we're turning to look at an imaginary person beside us when we're doing this, okay? As much as is comfortable, okay? First and foremost is safety. Stay hydrated and safety. Feel your way along. Allow your body to get used to these movements. Give your body time. Safety first, safety first. Nine, ten. Now, our next one after that was called the stick punch. When we use the stick, we throw it out to the side. Now, it's a turnover punch, okay? We're turning it over and again, engaging that core. You see how I'm turning? So that everything is going into this punch. We're getting our body into these. You know, we're not dealing with getting our weight moving forward, the falling step, or anything like that. This is pure body mechanics, just building our core and our fighting muscles. Yeah, I'm not even counting because I'm yakking. <laughs> Brother Doberman said that. You can listen to you can listen to me ramble, and that's a fact. Well, I'm a rambling fool. All right. Now, when I do this, I turn it over, and you see how I stretch my hips away from the arm that's up. I call that kind of like throwing in a little Elvis. And what you'll find that that does, that muscle that's so hard to work beneath the sternum, and it wraps this. You will feel it there, trust me. Now when you're going overhead, you're turning it. I don't know if you can see, okay? You're gonna turn it on this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, and don't don't feel like the weight you're using isn't heavy, because if you move you you move one pound enough times, it will become an intolerable weight, and it might as well be a thousand. Think of it this way: we're going through. I believe there are what like 15 movements here. If you just do it with one pound, and you do 10 repetitions of each movement and that's all you do, then you're moving 150 pounds with each hand. Okay? That's amazing. 
And if you do the entire beginner's workout, then you're moving something like 450 pounds with each hand in a very short space of time. That's heavy duty, y'all. Huh? Heavy duty. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What is a good girl? And now, I had the, the kayak attack, but I've taken that out unless I'm doing it with a stick. So we're just doing the hand weight exercise. So I moved that out because as you get into the heavier weights, that's gonna, um, it's not gonna feel good on your shoulders. The stick holds you uh, in a good position so it's safer. But we're gonna take that right out of there. So the next one we go to, Tarzan. I'm gonna want you to just lean slightly forward, okay? Get that balance of tension. And then it's this. Just like old King Kong or Tarzan. Alright? And do this movement slow and controlled. Bring that over to your opposite opposite uh, chesticle there, your pe pectoral chesticles. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. What y'all think of my push-up? That push-up will whip you. It's gnarly. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. This was called the poet first. Or the pendulum. You see, you're kind of like a pendulum. Or like those little little uh, ball bearings that hit against each other. And tick, tack, tick. Now this will throw muscle across your beam. I call that the beam, you know. This the top of the shoulders there. That runs along behind the the neck. Protect your spine. That's what we're doing. Knees are bent. Rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. That push-up will get you. Trust me. Woo hoo doggy. I started doing that and adding that in because I realized that that I, I needed that, that little bit of extra. You know, we want to keep bone density. So once you feel comfortable doing that, you know, start with your regular push-ups. And if you if regular push-ups feel like they're hurting your joints, then start on your knees. Or do your push-ups against the counter. Uh, like that, you know? Be safe. Work your way up. Because if you do too much, you can harm yourself. Work your way up. You've got the time. And you're worth it. You're worth doing it right. Now, you see I'm yakking here. You're like, why are you yakking so much? Well, because the next one will get you. It's the Demsley. Name for uh, name for Demsley, the Demsley channel. Excellent dude, excellent guy. And I've added a little extra, y'all. Now you're reaching down, keeping your back strong and straight. But you see how I'm coming over? Both hands are going like this, one to the inside of the leg. So you're working an extra side of your back, and then up. So pick the box up. Put the box down. Pick it back up. Put it back down. Okay? That's what? Two. Three. See, one to each side equals one. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Now, maybe you've got bad knees. I would encourage you to bend your knees as much as you can. But if they'll not bend a lick, or if it feels unsafe, do this. Turn to the side, keeping that tummy tucked. You see? Y'all. Oh. oh. So just do her that way. Get that movement in. Why not? And lean over a little bit. But keep that back strong. See? You can do it. No problem. Now, the two-handed blacksmith, or as I've been secretly calling it in my head because it feels more fitting, John Henry, steel driving man. Bring them up. Pop. And you see how I'm turning? To face that person beside me. Alright? When I go down, 
engaging it, keeping it hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, we got like uh, the Charleston of the Saturday Night Fever, okay? Now this one, you're coming back, okay? And this is getting you all across the back of that arm. So back, and then it's coming up to block or to strike. This will build those shovel hooks and uppercuts. Two. See, because it's kind of like that swagger that those guys are sat in there live. You can tell by the way I hear my walk. I'm a woman man. No time to talk. You don't care. I shouldn't have landed in that way and kicked around since I was born. <laughs> Alright, I think that's ten. Then, the samurai. But it's different now. So check it out. Okay? The samurai. It was this strike, remember? This strike. And then, paying equal attention to bringing it back up. Remember? Now it's this. So, not going to hand out of the way strike. Or two strikes. And you'll see the efficacy of this when you utilize it on a heavy bag. Or a series of heavy bags or any striking focus. Folk eye. Scope it out. You see how I am engaging that torso? I'm turning and getting that beef into the strike, okay? Got to do it. Then we reverse. And go slow and smooth with these movements, okay? Perfect the movement before you try to attain speed, please. Safety, safety, safety. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, we have Skull Crushers. Apparently, these are Brother Doberman's favorites. And they are a lot of people's favorites. And when I say favorite, I mean they're the one people dislike the most. And I always do double of these because you'll find that they are easier as you go. Six, seven, eight. These are different from the overhead presses because you'll see that I am focusing more on this muscle. You see how it's coming down behind me. This was the overhead. Now we're doing it this way. I'm sure you can see the difference. How many is that? I do twice as many. Twenty. Then, yes. Here's how we end. One. Ladder punches. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Twenty. Now, I'm going to go through without yakking, okay? So you'll have something to follow along with. Now the beginning workout is what we just did. Ten of each movement slowly. That's to warm you up. I was already warmed up. I was starting to cool off but when I thought of this. Then the next one is as fast as you feel comfortable. Ten repetitions of each movement and then a cool down of ten repetitions. So I, I need to kind of go fast. I don't want to have the video bomb because my my wife comes in and she don't you know she'll just come right in the dogs will be up it'll be chaos all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I created this all for you. I created this for all of you. Two, three, four. Everybody deserves to have free fitness. Free fighting fitness. You don't have to pay a bunch of money to get fighting hard. You protect you and your own. Do it without costing a damn dime. All those exercise routines that claim they're going to do you this and do you that. 
All they'll do is bust your joints up later on in life. You'll feel it later. One, two, three, four, five. I'll go a little slower because maybe y'all will go along with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've been living my whole life. People telling me I cannot. I won't do that to you because you can. Just start. Start right here with me. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep that stomach tucked in as much as you can. Even doing that throughout the day will help you to build those core muscles and maintain a balanced attention. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when you're comfortable, engage those hips in the movement, because that's going to, you watch my punching is for everyone. That's part of it. Getting it all in there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slightly bent. Over, knees slightly bent. Nine, ten. All right. The pose of the pendulums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Everybody's favorite. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember to keep breathing. Always breathe. Breath. Important. It's easy to forget. Easy to forget. Okay. Where was it? Oh, yeah. The two-handed blacksmith of the John Henry. One. And remember, keep that tummy tucked. Knees slightly bent. Turn to face that invisible person beside you. Getting everything into them blows. Boy, you're raining it down on that steel. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I have to do one more just in case. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd also like to to say, let your head go with your shoulders. You see how I'm keeping it square? Now, when you're fighting, you're staying eye on, keeping your eyes on your target. With this, I don't want you to do that. I don't want your, your neck to get like a little repetitive stress from, from all the repetitions. So keep it square so it, it turns whichever way your shoulders are. If you have trouble with that, you can get used to that by closing your eyes. And that will naturally make your head just track with your shoulders. That's more than 10, but that's all right. Now, samurai with a punch. I do one first just to feel the movement, and then I count. One, two, and let your body launch the strikes, okay? Work for smoothness. Don't try to snap it out or anything yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's 
Skull Crushers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ladder punch. Nice, y'all did good. I need to get some water real quick. Stay hydrated. Here, my co-host will keep you company. Ready? Now? I would recommend, when you first start out, to do the cool down slowly and smoothly, like a moving meditation. I myself just pretty much do everything all the way, the same speed, all the way through, and then I end with a little bit of empty-handed shadow boxing, like that, because you want to push that lactic acid through. Now this workout does that all on its own, but your first couple of times working out, you might want to add the empty hand. To do 10 repetitions empty handed, no weight at all. Just to make sure that you're moving the lactic acid through. That's the beauty of this workout. Your muscle recovery rate is insane. You can actually do this exercise six or seven days a week. Heal up from it within that, that period, no problem. Because we're using low weights and primal movements, this is science, yoga, the Kazakh dance, stick fighting, boxing, knife fighting. It's all wrapped into this series of movements just for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I forgot to count. Count out loud for you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I tend to zone out within this workout. It just does that. It is a meditation. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. I also 
want to shout out Tech Love. Thank you, Sister Tech, for your generous donation. I appreciate you. So, oh, you rock and roll through that. Right on. Thank you for entering the giveaway, too. Not only did you donate, but you entered. Thank you. I, I uh, recommend y'all check her channel out. Really smart, sharp, cool gear. Nice, like crazy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Samurai. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. And check it out. Set your weights down if you feel like the weights are keeping you from making your numbers. If you gotta shake it out for a second, then finish your numbers. There's no failure here. No failure here. Cause you're okay and I dig you. I just wanna throw down a few extra of my my zombie ups. Yeah. I don't even know if this is going to show up. You guys probably can't see me. That's okay. Two. Three. Four. I ended up doing over a hundred of those suckers without with my workout. Now, if shadow boxing isn't your thing, okay? Um, if it's hard for you to use that as a focus, I'd encourage you to do something else to get that get that blood moving again, okay? With your empty hands. Now, you can do like ten repetitions of what we just did as a nice little loosen up also got the the Django Chi one okay where we just kinda we do the first couple movements you see This will kind of help loosen you up. Okay, we're just doing this barehanded. You see how I have to switch off? Watch. Now here, it's a right, then a left instead of a left right. And then overhead that way too.
This way you keep a kind of a natural flow to the movements. Or, this is another excellent one. That nice, just a long flow punching combination. It's a left, right, hook, right, left, hook. You see? And we just continue that on. Do it nice and slow, nice and smooth. Don't worry about perfect punches. Concern yourself with that smoothness of movement and just getting that blood flow in. Okay? All right. I'll add a little on the end. Thank y'all. All right. I'm back. I told you my wife was going to be home soon. So, we just did the beginner's workout together and I appreciate you coming along on this ride for me. I believe that it is each of our responsibility to be as strong as we can be, physically, mentally, emotionally. And I believe that we should help each other in that pursuit. And that's what I'm attempting to do with this. Um, I dig who you are. And I'm glad that you come along on this ride for me, with me. Um, I just don't even know what else to say. Thank you to all of you. I appreciate you very much, okay? And remember to be safe. Stay hydrated. Knees slightly bent. Be true to the movements, alright? Protect your spine at all times. And be good to yourself. Hold your head up high. Alright? You don't hang your head for anyone. I don't care what shape you are. You are who you are and you're on your path. You're not who you will be. Okay? And I dig you. You be true to you. And if you're going to get fit, if you're going to get hard, do it because you want to. Alright? Because anything else... And no one else, no one else gets to tell you what to do. I mean, I don't know, some situation or whatever, you know. But, you know, like your boss going to tell you, hey, you know, go, go trade stocks or whatever it is you do. I don't know what you do. But you be good to yourself, okay? You don't hang your head. And you don't live under anyone's thumb. All right? So, just be good to yourself, alright? Hold your head up high, and always remember that you are not alone. As long as I'm drawing breath, you got a friend, alright? I dig you, and I'm just glad that you come by to hang out with me. Man, it's just nice to not be alone. So, thank you good yourselves live free and always punch hard no that I dig you